deliverance country out here. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie. But sometimes Mother Nature can just creep up on you. That's kind of cool. You watch this. Can't hear a thing. Just birds, bees, flies. But if you just walk through here. So this is part of the overflow of one of the creeks out here in the northeast. It goes out into the Ringarooma River. You can walk across here and get wet feet. So it's pretty shallow, won't be a drama. It's not moving too fast. Jess might get washed downstream a little bit, but she'll swim alright. She's a pretty good swimmer. But um, I'll leave the boots here and walk across and go and get these last two cameras out here that I've I had three, one died last round um, but there's been two out here for a few months on their own so I'll go get them and bring them in You ready to go for a walk across? Got the boots off put the feet out Let's go! Oh, I don't think it's going to be too deep Looks like it's dropped a fair bit since last time we crossed, some of it's a bit soft, but generally it's not too bad. Last time I was hanging on to Jess for dear life, because she was getting washed away. <laughs> not so bad this time. Looking pretty good. It's only knee deep. There's a little channel here. Yeah. It's a little bit deeper. But she's pretty dry over there. Normally there's a bit of a creek over there too. Tributary. You're the gauge for the depth, Jess. You get blown away. It's reasonably deep. Oh, we could do a bit of foscom while we're here. There's always uh, gemstones about in this river. I've found some nice topaz along here before. And we've had plenty of flooding. So there could be a bit of blackjack or even a sapphire lying around that's come out the World River and washed down. I found a really old beer bottle down here that was intact. It was been in the river for probably 50, 60 years at least. So you find all sorts of weird things down here after a flood. It can be uh, pretty revealing. So, <clears throat> when I left these cameras here in August, the river hadn't come in here for years. But it's been in here and it's been in here quite deep. I managed to find camera 37 at the base of that pile of junk at the bottom of that tree. That's where I had it connected. But as you can see, it's basically rooted and full of water. <clears throat> Not looking very good. So I found the two cameras that were down here. Gonna head back. It'll take years to dry that cart out if it ever works. <laughs> but anyway, at least I've retrieved the two cameras. The other camera had water in it as well. That was right down the end of where this creek would have got a bit shallower. So hopefully um, that one's no worse off. Or maybe a bit better off. As you can see though, it's a good reason to put cameras in here. Look at all the prints in here. I mean, there's kangaroos, there's devils, there's wombats. I haven't seen anything that looks like thyla prints, but um, there are lots of quadruped prints, but the gravel's so soft, it's hard to tell what's what, really. Bit of a shame. Anyway, there's, um, there's Jess waiting to go back across the river as we head back. But uh, we'll see if we can get anything off these cards. I don't like the chances. I think the two cameras might keep their secrets forever.
So I'm on the last half a dozen cameras here um, at this location where I've had a few. This poor bugger here is camera 63. As you can see, it's stuffed. Be lucky if that ever even turned on, never alone short it out when you turned it on, the amount of water in it. Um, the card's still in it, the card will be wet, it'll take a bit to dry. Put it in rice for a couple of weeks, that might bring it good. <clears throat> um, I don't think a person did that, I think an animal did that because 63 was just over there pointing back that way, in that direction. And 60 was just here. And uh, God knows where camera 60 went. Um, but it's gone. Um, and uh, all they left behind was the base and the cable tie that had it on the tree. So I was getting things going in that way and this way. Hopefully we can um, get this dried out and find out who or what attacked the cameras. Could be interesting. Um, could be a person's face on there. It could be something else. But if you have a look there, that looks like a uh, rather large tooth hole right through the screen there. Somebody's had a good old munch on it right there. So I think an animal, I'm going to say a devil probably attacked these because um, it didn't like its photo getting taken. I've had devils attack cameras before. They don't like them. When they spot them, they um, come up and chew the faces on them. So I think these two cameras have fallen prey to devils or something else. But uh, either way, the mystery's solved. We know what happened to camera 60. It's gone somewhere out there in the bush. I'll leave it with you. How you doing everybody? I've had a really crap day. I've lost things in the bush, had to go back find them. I've got cameras with the latches falling off. I've got all sorts of shit going on, but it's just been rewarded. Look at this, hey? Here's a redneck wallaby and looks what's happened to it. Something's taken its head. A little bit typical, isn't it? 
Don't find many of these in Tassie, but this one is uh, bang on target. I've heard um, yipping in this area. I've had a sighting not too far from where I am right now. And this thing here is, I'm going to say two days old. It's a bit stiff. But um, yeah, yay. I got cameras in this area and uh, it's raining as you can see. I'm getting a bit wet, but um, fingers crossed we get a, a yawny, stripey thing on one of these cameras because I'll tell you what, I've had a crap day. I've collected about 12 cameras today though, anyway. But I'm going to head back and uh, just load up all these cards and go through them, see what happens. I'll let you know how I go. So, I just found this poor little individual on the middle of the road. There was a car coming, so I pulled it off the road, but it was lying basically in the same position as this. It was just over there, near that white marker. This is fresh from last night. Definitely not a devil. If it's a tiger quoll, that'd be interesting. Don't know that tiger quolls do this. Anybody got any evidence of tiger quolls disemboweling like this and leaving all that in the middle of the road? So another opportunistic feed in the same place where I found three other mutilated specimens. So yeah, our friend is around here and this is right near the spot where I filmed the... Uh, what I believe to be a juvenile thylacine with a the thermal camera the other week. So yeah, interesting. Endangered eastern quoll, extinct on the mainland, presumed. And um, still doing okay out here. You still see a few of them when you drive around at night. But yeah, this one here is not looking too flash. I've been trying to catch this possum. It's been eating everything. And I just so happened to have caught this baby paddy melon. And this is quite juvenile. It's a little bit bigger. I'm going to say maybe three or four hundred grams bigger than the one that, uh, well, not the one, but the uh, animal that everyone said was a baby paddy melon, which I believe was a baby thylacine. So I'm going to release this and let it go and film it as it runs off. And we might have a little bit more of an idea of what a paddy melon baby looks like from behind when it's moving along. And we'll see where its tail sits and we'll see where its head sits and we'll see how narrow its head is compared to its bottom as well. Be interesting. So let's do it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to film you. Ready, set, go.